Having God as your refuge is the best thing that can happen to a believer. That is when you have an absolute security and confidence on daily basis. Hi, I welcome you again to my YouTube channel. I remain John on my Oluwa family. If this is your first time here, I welcome you. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have subscribed before, I say thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click on the notification button to always get notified every day as I post daily devotional video. And don't forget to comment at the comment section and also like and share this video. So this morning we'll be looking into another crucial topic and that is a place of altar as your place of refuge. And we are reading this morning from the book of Psalm 91 from verse 1 to 2. And I'm going to read here from King James. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Let's pray. Father, we thank you again for another wonderful time. Thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to witness a very new day. Lord, accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. And as we go your word this morning, we pray that you open our eyes to your word and bless us in your word this morning. Thank you, Father, for your answer. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God is the best refuge that we can have. Some people believe in their chariots, some in horses, some believe in chants, some believe in, in fetish powers that they have gathered together. But the best security man can have is when a man has God as his refuge. So today, we are dealing with you having God as your refuge. So when you have a standing altar, you have a sure security. You have God as your refuge and your fortress. This is it. On daily basis, God guides you against impending dangers. There is always a signaling alert that you get when you fellowship with God on daily basis. Your place of fellowship is as well as your place of refuge. And that's why the Bible says here that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There is no evil that can come to you when you are dwelling in the place where God is. Now, when you have set a special altar for the Lord in your heart, then you have a place whereby you enter into day in day out communion and now in the presence of this communion you get information of everything or most things that are happening in your life there is only one thing that can make you make the banner of protection to be taken away from a man and when a, a, a righteous man a man that god has old to a particular level mistakenly fall into a sin sin open the gate of our garden for the enemy to penetrate so when this is not there you have certainty and assurance of divine protection on daily basis in the book of psalm 5 verse 11 the bible says but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. What is there is that God defends you on daily basis. He guarantees you his defense. Every time you fall, you, you, you find yourself in danger, it comes quickly to your rescue. Has it ever happened to you? You, you, you ever going out in your car and you get an instruction not to go out in that car that day? 
and you drop your car only to discover a fatal accident that happened on your way there are so many times we want to go out we have set we have getting ourselves ready to go out but instruction is like just wait for a few minutes but now for that danger to pass that's why the bible says that we should always redeem the day redeem time because all days are full of evil every day every time every hour there is always a danger that follows every day but when you dwell where god is is going to guide you against those dangers and also in the book of psalm 36 verse 7 how excellent is thy loving kindness O god therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings now we remain under the shadow just as an do cover his cheeks or, or, or our cheeks so also the lord covers those people who put their trust in him so today as you're going out begin to add this to your daily life that you have maximum protection when you dwell in the presence of god so do not leave the presence always be conscious of his presence and let his presence guide you on a daily basis and as you do may the lord make his light to shine upon you today and grant you protection in all your endeavors in jesus name shall we bless the name of god this morning again there's another wonderful time and shall we begin to appreciate him for his faithfulness he's so faithful he's so loving bless him bless him this morning say to him lord i bless you bless you for protecting me you know how many dangers that have passed you by and the lord has saved you from all those dangers you know how many worries how many pains how many situations that could have taken your life but he has been protecting you that's his faithfulness to you begin to appreciate him this man that daddy i thank you for your faithfulness great is your faithfulness unto me unto my family unto my children unto my wife unto my husband unto my family members unto everything that pertains to me begin to thank him for this appreciate him and also begin to say to him lord i know i have seen for not fellowshipping with you the way you are expecting me to do i am i am depriving you of my fellowship i am not spending enough time with you i am not spending so much time in relationship with you father please forgive me this morning i know it is a sin on my part and begin to appreciate begin to talk to him that daddy please forgive me my sins forgive me the sins this morning and as well begin to tell him that holy spirit of your way in my life this morning and i create a room for fellowship I create a room for fellowship. I expand in my fellowship with the Spirit of God. I commit myself. I enter into communion with the Holy Spirit this day. My spiritual senses are or at a lot I, re I i remain in the presence of god this morning throughout today i do not move out of his light i do not move out of his instruction i do not move out out of his way the will of god today is going to be my will it shall be my will throughout today i commit myself into the end of god for protection and i and my family members we are divinely protected today in the name of jesus and at the end of today let your name be glorified in my life begin to say to him begin to say and if you have a special request from him today that is pertaining to you and your life begin to say to him lord this is my request this morning this is my request this is my desire if your own desire is to know him more begin to pray to him that my desire is to know you more to know you more to know you more help me to know you help me to know you whatsoever your desire is begin to say to him father we thank you this morning for this wonderful time is another wonderful time in your presence lord accept thanks and praises in jesus name and according to our request we pray that you grant us our heart desires today in the name of jesus 